Hello, welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe. It's uh, another uh, crazy week in the markets, crazy in, in the good way though. Um, we are up 350 points in the Dow through uh, Thursday and we'll, we'll see how the week closes out tomorrow and we're gonna go into a three day weekend, uh, which sometimes with a long holiday weekend, traders will tend to maybe take off a little bit, uh, take some money off the table on the Friday, things like that. So. You never know. But I mean, overall, we, we want to address the situation, the state of the stock market. Uh, it feels as if things are just uh, running way ahead of themselves. And, and a lot of people naturally would have that kind of a fear. And I want to make a couple comments about it. There are right now, I'm very convinced, two different forces at play, both of which are driving markets higher and both of which are, are extraordinarily rational. Um, one is the more secular paradigm uh, that is anticipated by markets of corporate tax reform coming, of investment tax uh, changes, of a deregulation uh, taking place throughout the economy, um, particularly in certain sectors like financials and energy. This sort of secular atmosphere, if the market is right that it's coming, believing in sort of these things that the President Trump and his team campaigned on, believing that they'll be effective in getting it done because of cooperation from Republican Senate and House, these things all were to happen. They become a sort of secular tailwind of markets pushing prices higher, and that price pushing has begun in advance of any of these policies being implemented. But then this is happening in tandem with a cyclical force um, that is different than that secular force, and it has to be understood by investors. And, and it is something that is really uh, totally separate from Trumpian policy and the present political uh, situation, and that is earnings growth accelerating. Uh, more than likely, earnings in the S&P 500 right now would be accelerating if the tooth fairy were president. And so it's a very apolitical situation, but we had had five or six quarters of earnings growth coming down. And now not only is earnings growth turned around, it's turned around quite robustly. There were optimistic projections for what earnings growth would look like. And the market has outperformed even those expectations. And most companies are guiding higher for the future quarters than it even been anticipated. So you start getting earnings growth accelerating on a cyclical basis and you get secular forces of an improved corporate environment around taxation and regulation, then stock prices are gonna go higher. That's what they've done. Now, where would we be concerned? We'd be concerned about valuation, where things get a little too expensive. We'd be concerned about sentiment. It hasn't happened yet, but if you get an absurdly bullish bubble type sentiment where people uh, are hyper complacent about risk and and are reckless in the way that they kind of bid prices up and risk assets we would be very concerned about that um, so we want to be selective and we want to maintain the disciplines of diversification of asset allocation and we want to maintain behavioral traits that are wise in this environment um, that's where it's very important for investors to understand that some degree of corrections, uh, volatility, are the norm. And that is, it hasn't really happened here in more recent weeks. It's going to happen. And you can lose track of the fact that that's a reality in investing. That could be a very bad idea. Or you can do something even worse, a worse idea, try to trade around it to actually think that you can time an entry point, an exit point this week and in three weeks and it's, it's insanity. So we want to be very fundamentally solid, stick to a very disciplined allocation, be tactical about valuation. A lot of these things we talk about all the time, but we're trying to apply it right now for you in the context of this stock market. That is this week's Dividend Cafe. We look forward to coming back to you next week, see what the next week holds. Have a wonderful weekend.